Okay, the dreaded water valve. Drip, drip, drip of excess acid. If you remember those commercials. Could be hydrofluorisic acid, whatever it is. Chlorine. Fluoride is an acid. Haha. -ha. Anyway, this thing's dripping. We're gonna we're gonna swap that out. Okay, so this is going to be the, one of the first generations of these uh, Deltas. And so, I got this, uh, whatever, the cover nut kind of thing, because these are notorious. If you have to cut them off or uh, whatever, um, you can't tweak too hard on these. Otherwise, you'll pull the whole uh, mechanism out of the fixtures in the back. Then you got major problems. You have to replace the whole thing. So... Basically, I need to heat this up and, and spray some WD-40 in there and see if it's going to come loose. If uh, if it comes loose, then we don't have to use this. It was like nine bucks a day. And then we got the kit. There's like a couple of washers in there, a couple of springs, and the adjustment tool for the tension on the on the valve. And now uh, let's see what we can do here. We will have to cut the water off. Okay, this one's not coming off too easy. I actually tried the heat gun and the lighter technique. Uh, it's not a flare up. It's not a. It's not coming loose. I tapped on it a little bit. I'm not going to tweak on it too much. What I'll probably do is take a little grinder and grind it off rather than hacksaw it. Um, yeah, it's not coming off too easy. I'm probably going to let it set a couple days. This thing's definitely. Long screws. Yeah, you gotta like fish way in the hell back in there to figure out where they go all day long. But uh, yeah, this one it's gonna be uh, have to be another day kind of thing. I'm just gonna let it soak with penetrant and uh, try and make it work that way later. Okay, so I went on, I went over to, with my heater again and pounded on it a little bit and it came off. It's coming off. It's gonna come off. Oh, that's odd noise. Okay. So, got it off. This is the little ball that's in there. I think it's important to keep it the same way it came out. So, that's the upside. And, so I got the two washers on the right and left. Got to pull those out. There's going to be springs behind them. And I'm going to swap those with this kit Delta style faucet repair kit Delta style faucet repair kit got the washers and the springs okay so here's what the old one looks like and you can see it's got a little bit of a wear ridge on it and you should use a little bit of this waterproof grease um, to get in there and I made this little puller tool so you can pull that out. Just reach in there. See if I can do this. Pull this. Just take a little coat hanger and put a little uh, hook on it. Go in there and try and grab onto it gently. And it comes out. And. So we're going to put a new spring and a new washer in that. And we're going to grease up that little control arm thing too. And possibly grease up the face of that washer when we put it back all back. And so got it all back together. Trick is, is this little notch. You got to make sure that little notch is in there. And things flush up against there. And then when you put the screw face thing back on, I'm not actually gonna put a little pipe thread dope on that on those threads. When you put this thing back on, you want to make sure that this plastic piece does not move when you're putting this back on. Where'd it all begin?
Got to bleed the pipes. Duh. All this stuff off. And looks like so far so good. Never know until you try it, right? Hard part's gonna be getting those screws in at this point because it's like what, three and a half inch screws going back into the middle of nowhere. That hasn't been turned on for a while. Well, it wasn't leaking when I started, so it should be okay. Seems to be okay. Another plumbing episode. Okay, so this is about 10 minutes later, seems like. And so I finally got these screws lined up. Um... Oh, 1966 to 1960, 1962 to 1966 patent, Delta patent. Um, so anyway, why is it important to get these screws lined up? It's important because basically these screws fasten it onto the, whatever, the base here. And if it's not fastened onto the base and you're constantly moving this thing up and down, you're going to break the back of the fixture eventually, possibly. And so that's why it's important to have these two uh, screws clamping it to this, this base. That's what these two screws do.